Can you tell where we are yet? Probably not. There's a bank of cloud covering the uh, the landmark spot, but uh, we're at Colin. It's not open yet. Um, you have to work it through the community centre and and what have you. The ANPR that they've got planned isn't working. Um, neither is the electric, etc., etc. But. £10 a night to be back at Colin and we have people coming to see us and maybe get to show you them arriving or maybe I'll be having my lunch <laughs> I'll show you around later I just wanted to get this on video it's great to be back might be able to make it out but that is Bow Fiddle Rock unfortunately that cloud bank is rolling further and further in but hey it's the north of Scotland it's mid-November. What do you expect? It's great to be back here again. Some familiar views. And a couple of years ago we thought it had been closed to us for good. We came here at the end of 1 August. We heard a week or so later about the signs that were going up. And now it's open. It's a motorhome air. It's £10 a night and at the moment with no facilities. But the facilities are coming. They're there, I just believe, not quite ready to open. It's going to be accessed by ANPR. Booked access that is. Um, currently, as I said earlier, you have to do it through the community centre and uh, they take your registration and do the rest manual but at least it's open Now it's freezing, so I'm going in for a cup of tea. See you again later. Colin, the birthplace of Colin Skink, sits on the Banffshire coast in northeast Scotland. The Banffshire coast is one of the world's outstanding coastlines, says the National Geographic. Not just for its natural beauty with plentiful wildlife, there are dolphins, seals, puffins and other seabirds in abundance, but also for its strong community feeling. Colin has stunning sandy beaches and seascapes, coastal paths, an historic harbour designed by Thomas Telford, 
with great shops and estuaries, and places to stay all set against the stunning backdrop of old railway viaducts and Castle Hill viewpoint, and of course the Bin of Colin. It is also part of the North East 250, a touring route. and Joe from Postcats and we're at Cullen Beach had a lovely night last night at the new stopover thanks to the Three Kings Association of Cullen for all the help getting us booked in and being allowed to use the stopover even though it's not officially open yet they're still taking bookings which is understandable if they can get some motorhomes in and it's all good PR for them so we're taking a walk along the beach uh, Sheila would like to see Bow Fiddle Rock I'm not sure if we're going to get there or not but we can try and Trev and the dogs I'll probably go back via the viaduct. So, this is us on a little walk. Sorry about the wind. It is a bit nippy, but at the minute it's dry. We made it to Bow Fiddle Rock. Hooray! <laughs> now I'm going to try and see if I can turn this thing around. Right. Uh, this is Bow Fiddle. It is wet. It's not too cold, actually. No. I think it's probably because I've got too many layers on. Um, but we kind of look like a pair of drowned rats. And Sheila very sensibly decided to stay at the top. And the gents went back via the viaduct with the doggies so it's just the ladies and here we are so I'm going to switch you off and try and turn you around just to prove it here we are we did it yay now all we've got to do is climb back up the hill <laughs> <laughs> yeah sorry we kind of look like two Eskimos but it's wet yes very wet and windy but it's lovely and it's lovely seeing Sue and Trev and Sheila yeah. And Joe again. Yeah, and you and David. Yeah, bless you. <laughs> right, shall we go? Yes. Yes, hot toddy's calling. Yeah. 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 I Some quick facts about Colin. Colin sits on the Moray Firth between the villages of Port Nocky and Sand End. Colin was a royal borough which was founded by William the Lion sometime towards the end of the 12th century. The village is split into two parts, the waterfront fishing village of Seatown and New Colin which sits behind it. Castle Hill was home to a wooden fort from the 11th century and it is believed that King Robert the Bruce's Queen Elizabeth de Burgh died in the castle in around 1327 and some of her remains were buried in Colin Old Kirk. The Duke of Cumberland used Castle Hill as a meeting point for his army of the Red Coasts before the Battle of Culloden in 1746. 
After falling into a state of neglect, Castle Hill is now a popular viewpoint and beauty spot after a two year community project to bring it back to life, which finished in 2018. Cullen Harbour was designed by Thomas Telford, a renowned Scottish engineer who also designed the Caledonian Canal, Donkell Bridge and Dean Bridge in Edinburgh. Fishing was the main industry for over 200, 500 years, sorry, but nowadays the harbour is mainly used for leisure. The popular fish soup, Colin Skink, is from Colin. Now who would have guessed that? Here we're overflying the harbour and some of the industrial area where the sailing school and other things are and we're approaching the new motorhome air. The new air was completed in approximately 14 months by the community of Colin. Something that the council couldn't do at in three years and if you want to see more about the site join us for Friday's video. Everybody say hello. 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 Welcome to Colin. <laughs> right, that's enough. Phew. Okay. Oh. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners. And remember, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.